are ready. Okay, hey everybody. I am here with a very special friend of mine, uh, Mr. Jonathan Emeret, and we just had uh, some breakfast here in Los Angeles. Excellent breakfast. Where were we? Where are we? Marmalade Cafe. Yeah. Beard. Excellent bref breakfast. But hey, look, I wanted to int you guys, introduce you guys to Jonathan. If you don't know him, um, he's a fascinating human being. Uh, he's he, he's known for his work that he did on the Mars Phoenix project. He. Um, I mean, the, the network that this guy has is unbelievable, and he, he really understands the science behind things and the science behind why things work. So we've had a pretty in-depth conversation here at, at breakfast, <laughs> which was awesome. But he has, also has a really interesting explanation on Kangen water. Um, you know, working with NASA and whatnot, he, he talks about why astronauts drink this type of water. So. If you were to tell these people in just a couple minutes why Kangen water and talk a little bit about the, the energy and the energetic standpoint of, of Kangen water so that way they can really understand it from, not from me, but from somebody who's an ex-NASA scholar. Um, well, I can tell you one thing right off the bat. Most people confuse alkaline with ORP. ORP meaning oxidation reduction potential, which is basically the potential, the that uh, any element has, for instance, the Kangen water here, to reduce the process of oxidation. So those two things are very, you know, uh, misunderstood. Many people think that they're doing good for their body by drinking alkaline water, but I always remind people that you can make, you can make toxic water alkaline by simply adding some sodium bicarbonate to it and some trace minerals. But would you drink it? You absolutely would not. Alkaline water is the feel-good factor. But having the electrons in the water, which gives it that negative ORP register, that's what is the miracle factor. That's what's gonna help your body to become alkaline because if you drink alkaline water, that doesn't make your body alkaline. That keeps the water going through your body alkaline and your body, your, you know, your digestive system doesn't have to react harshly as it does with acidic things like soda and things like that. You get you know, bloating and things of that nature. It doesn't react harshly to it, but it does not make and it cannot make your body alkaline. Only the electrons and the presence of electrons can make your body alkaline. Right. So that's why you need something like this because, you know, if there's no other way to obtain, you know, electrons in water unless you go to a source like up in the mountains somewhere. And, and, and so talk a little bit about the importance of electrons and how that really is the essence of energy because we all understand that every comes, everything is energy, right? But talk a bit about it. I remember you were explaining it to me with the stuffed animal and how when people get old, oh, they yes. start aging, they just lost the electrons. And, and so what is, yeah. why Kong and water, and what does that do for you? So explain that to them a little bit. Well, it's really simple. I mean, uh, imagine you have a stuffed bear, a plush stuffed bear, and that stuffing inside that bear are all the electrons, because that's what an electron is. If you look at the atom, at the nucleus of an atom, you, it's surrounded by just, just so many electrons. That's the stuffing, the same as in that bear. Yeah. Over time, oxidation strips those electrons from the atom, from the molecule itself. And the stuffing becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and less. And over time, if you keep, keep taking that stuffing away from that bear, that bear is going to end up looking shriveled, you know, and, and flat and without that suppleness. And that's exactly what happens to fruits if you leave them out for too long. They become oxidized, they become brown, and they get shriveled up and petrified. It's the same thing. If you look at those fruits and, and vegetables, the way they turn, it's almost identical to how elderly people turn. They get smaller and smaller and wrinkled up, and it's the same thing. They're becoming petrified. They're losing the stuffing, and the stuffing is the electron itself. And you have to have it. If you want to remain young and healthy, you have to have the electron. There's no other way. That's what differentiates organic food at its basic core from food that are not organic. You know, food that are not organic um, don't have many electrons in them, but organic foods do have them. They have to have them because the only way for foods that are organic to maintain their health is to have an abundance of electrons because that keeps them from being diseased mm. and attacked by pests mm -hmm. and things of that nature. So mm -hmm. you have to have the electron. If you don't, you're dying. And so you're talking about how if you want to stay young, like he's talking about, okay, if you're old and you're crippled and you're, you know, you have saggy skin, it's... Your you bone don't have density that, is low. You don't have that suppleness. It's you've lost your body's lost 
its life, it's lost its energy, it's lost the electrons in it. So when you're drinking Kangen water or you're eating living foods that he's talking about that are filled with their electrons, you're refilling your body with that. Absolutely. Life you're you're that gaining sense. stuffing. You're, yeah. you're keeping nice and supple, nice and, and so, cool. And so Jonathan has really caught my attention because there's a lot of people that talk about reversing aging or anti-aging, but there's not a lot of people that walk the walk, right? People are talking the talk, but they're still getting older and older. And so one thing that Jonathan's really mastered is actually reversing his age. I saw this picture of him of, I think it was like eight or 10 years ago, and he looks old and, and I, I mean, now 10 he, years older. <laughs> now you can see it, I mean, he's got perfect skin and and so do you attribute some of that to Kong and water? Or? Absolutely, you know, I, I do a lot of things that led to the age reversal. Yeah. But that final key component to it was the water itself because when I added the water to what I was already doing, yeah. it began to come off like it was like it was yeah. nothing, like it was butter. Right. Because um, because we're what seventy five percent water, seventy two percent water. Seventy five percent plus water, but the molecules themselves yeah. are ninety percent water. Uh -huh. So we're basically water. Yeah. And if you don't have quality water, and water, what it is is a, it's a superconductor of electromagnetic energy. Uh, and the wa the body is basically a walking battery. That's yeah. what it is. If you don't have, you know, the electrical charge in the water that you're drinking because you're mainly water. If you don't have good ele electrical charge in your body, yeah. you're not functioning. It's like trying to make a remote control work with batteries that are juiced. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. Mm -hmm. You know, its range of how far it can go is the signal is, is shorter. So and, and so, just so everyone understands this, we were talking because he speaks a lot about the science behind manifesting also. So I mean, I'm assuming since if your body's filled with this good, pure, clean, antioxidant rich water, um, electromagnetic activity, energy is gonna be able to flow through you better, is that correct? Absolutely. And it should help with? Everything, it should help with not only the age reversal, but we're talking about, if you're seeing wrinkles, imagine what your insides look like. That's the most important part. Yeah. Because if you wanna talk about health, yeah. Health starts from within first before yeah. it gets external. Yeah. So if you look great outside, then your insides must look great too. Um, but but it also keeps you from ever being sick. Viruses don't stand a chance. I haven't been sick in well over a decade. Not a headache, not, not a sniffle, nothing. You know, and it's not that I'm superhuman. Actually, it is. We all have that ability. <laughs> we all have that ability, but we have to do what it takes to keep the body at that optimum level of health. If you're not, doing it, then you are susceptible to everything that comes around. Viruses specifically, yeah. you know, yeah. illness. And so you drink Kangen water specifically from the Imagine Machine. You tried different machines, but... I have. I have tried the Athena machine, which is kind of the, the runner-up to the Kangen water machine, or the Enagic Kangen water machine. And I tried that for three months when I was living at a friend's house uh, many years ago, and it did nothing for me. Yeah. It didn't at all. Yeah. My body, my digestive system was still acting up. And then when I went back to the Kangen water, when I moved out of there and I got my own place, as soon as I went back to the Kangen water, within a day or two, it was all gone, yeah. you know? And I knew immediately, ionizers are not equal. Yeah. There is, there is, and now we know because of what's inside the in the Agit Kangen water machine, we know that it's much different. We know the quality uh, of, of the materials are better. We know the, the, the space that the um, that the water touches the surface of, of, the, of the metals that it touches to make it, you know, charge up. We know it's bigger, so yeah, they're they're not equal. They're, you're not going to get the same. A Rolls Royce and a, you know, and a Chrysler 300 look the same, but they're not the same vehicle. So, right. Right. you know, you have to. It's your health. I mean, you, if you're going to cut corners with your health, then you're going to get exactly what's coming to you. Period. Yeah. Awesome. Well, hey. Uh, I appreciate your time and this is a really cool interesting video that we made here. Jonathan's actually um, got a new product coming out called Thought Mechanics which is going to be launching real soon here which is awesome so make sure you give him a follow. Uh, he's got some awesome stuff on YouTube if you want to learn from him more uh, just type in Jonathan Amaret on YouTube. He's got some really really fascinating stuff um, but yeah thank you so much for uh, spending some time with us. You're welcome. Thank you. All right.